And oh, we are back angling. Um, it is Sunday, the 4th of February, so it's the 1st February trip. Um, yeah, those that have, that have uh, followed me um, on YouTube will know that I didn't get a lot done in January. Um, just the three nights because of the operation on my neck. Um, but they were good, good three nights, caught on, on both trips. One down at Redlands here and uh, two nights over on Prairie, which was uh, quite an epic January session, to be fair. But, um, yeah, we're back out. We've got 20 hours fishing. Um, I'm a bit slow in starting this vlog, to be fair, because I left my Bluetooth speaker and that in the, uh, sorry, microphone in the uh, van. So I had to go and get it. But, yeah, we've got two rods out so far. Um, solid bags. We're fishing solid bags. Um, not seen a fish to go on, but it's not not. <laughs> it's almost impossible for when I turn up usually at weekends to get in swim three. Um, and I've yeah, that's where I've gone. I've gone in swim three. Um, bit un bit bit unlike me the way I've got my rod set up, but uh, yeah, got me wellies out the out the van. Thought, cool, it looks like a split in the sole of them, and uh, yeah, sure enough, there's a big tear in the bottom, so I can't actually get out on the platform because the platform's underwater. But um, if we have one, I will be walking into the water, I'll just take my shoes and socks off and go in there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to fish this swim, been wanting to fish it for a while, to be fair. They usually come in here, come in here at some, some time. I'd like to be doing 48, but because I'm getting my neck redressed every day. Um, at the uh, doctors, it's it's not possible. So uh, I've got to be away from here at eight in the morning. Um, so yeah, it's a really brief session, to be fair. Uh, I've got two. Yes, yeah, as I say, we've got two rods out at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. It's unbelievably mild. Um, yeah, and uh, yes, we're hopeful. We're hopeful, even though we haven't seen them yet. I'm hopeful they're out there. I'm just going to get the, 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 third, the third rod ready. It's also going to go on a solid bag. I don't put too much bait in it at the moment. Um, just fish for a bite. Yeah, I hope they come in. Because I've not seen anything to say they're out there at the moment. But um, fingers crossed they are. Or fingers crossed for the night. Yeah. We are set up. Like I say, we've got the bivvy up and everything. We've just got to get the third rod sorted out now. So... Right, we are on limited time this session, so I'm going to work on getting the third rod sorted out. Yeah, fingers crossed. There you go, guys. That is what's going out. Little solid bags. We've trimmed down ASM wafters with uh, some bag mix, little bag mix pellets, and ASM crumb and chops. Happy days, fingers crossed that I do the business. Well, guys, if you're tall like me, um, it's worth, uh, uh, do you know what, I ignored bed chair buddies for, for years because they were rubbish, to be fair. They had a bit of, they had a, you know, a tension strap down the sides and all that, and absolute rubbish. And uh, you, every time you leant back, you know, if you was heavy, every time you leant back, you, it collapsed. And, but I bought one recently. Um, um, yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, faultless, saves your back on your bed chair and all that, but not only that, if you're tall like me, I mean, I'm nearly six foot three, and um, I just put it on top of my barra, oh, ideal for day sessions, put it on top of your barra, look, there's the back of it, look, it's on my barra, just sit here like that, nice and comfortable, ideal, for, oh, it really, really is ideal, I mean, I, you know, 
if I want to see the whole of the lake rather than sat in the bivy, I'll just stick it on the barrow and sit out, sit out in the open. But like I say, for day sessions, it's nice and lightweight, nothing to it. Just throw it on your barrow with all your gear and away you go. Easy. Not only that, if it starts raining, you just sit, just sit on your barra under your bivy. Simple. Yeah, great, great thing. Not overly expensive either, I don't think. I think it's about 40 quid, something like that. But yeah, like I say, I ignored them for years because I had one years ago. They were absolute rubbish with the straps down the side. But much better now. This one's much better. I actually see my mate with it, to be fair. I thought, cool, I like the look of that. And yeah, it's been a godsend. It's looking good, to be fair. I'm not seeing anything in my water, but I don't really want to. I mean, I've caught, caught a lot of fish out of here, and um, I'm trying to... If I can, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm happy catching carp this time of year. We are in the winter, but I've caught a lot of carp from here. And uh, last, you know, I managed to get a night in the week, but I couldn't get sort of towards the bay where, where you know, where I've seen a couple of good ones recently. And um, I had to fish over the other side, away from the fish. And uh, I did manage to pick one off in the end. But, um, yeah, I wanted to get down this end, but... It's been tough for me. I think I managed to get in this swim once last year. It's quite a popular swim, but yeah, like I say, it's like this area. I've seen more of the better fish show in this area as well, or in this half. And at the moment, yeah, I've seen where the other where the where the pack fish are. You know, the the smaller fish, the twenty pounders, and that. I've seen them there. They're out in front of me, but a long way over. Um, not seen anything in my water, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. I dare say the bigger ones are hanging off the side of them somewhere. But yeah, because I generally, you know, I mean, I you know, generally my fishing's weekends, and uh, this swim's all. This swim's one of the first ones taken. It's close to the car park. Um, You've got the bay to your left, a bit, bit of open water out in front. And there's an unwritten rule that you can't fish the swim opposite if, if you're in this one. So it's, you've got a lot of scope in this swim. Peg, whatever you want to call it. I've always called it swim. But yeah, a lot of people call it peg. But we'll just have to see how the night goes. Like I say, it's only a short session, really. From start to finish, filling in the car park to going home is going to be roughly 20 hours um got about an hour hour and a half before dark now it's about an hour and a half before dark about quarter past three i think oh yeah quite happy whamming solid bags about little parcels about i'm not so i haven't seen a great deal just a few but they're uh Definitely the smaller fish in there, sort of heading towards where I usually go over there. Quite a way across. Yeah, we'll see. See what happens. Unbelievably mild. Really is. But I think in just over a week's time, we've got meant to have snow in that coming, so. Yeah, we shall see. Fingers crossed for a Well, guys, we've had to improvise. My pot that I put my tea bags in is now my cup. I left my cup at home. Yeah, and there you go. There's a little solid bag rig. Ready to go. Yeah. Looks good out there. It does look good. Incredibly mild. From what I understand, a lot of the bites... Um, in recent days I've been in the dark so fingers crossed 
fingers crossed. Well, guys, it looks pretty, pretty bright on the uh, on the camera, but it's not. It's just dropping in dark now. Um, yeah, so let's hope that we get we get one during the night. Hopefully, a good one. Um, yeah, not seeing anything in my water. All the there's a shoal of them opposite all the smaller ones by the looks of it from what I've seen. Um, yeah, not seen anything out here, not had any liners or anything like that. Um, yeah, we're just fishing three solid bags to try and buy a bite. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. It is looking good, it's going to be mild again all night. High singles, I think, during the night. So, yeah, that do. And uh, like I say, we're away early in the morning. So, as you all know, we still have very, very long nights. Still over 12 hours of darkness, so yeah. As usual, guys, I will let you know if anything occurs. Fingers crossed it does. Catch up in a bit. Well, good evening, all. Just sitting here doing a bit of rig tying, to be fair. Yeah, not a lot to report. Having another sitting here listening. Like I say, the, um, the group of fish are a long way opposite me. But, um, you know, I'm sitting away from them on the hope for a bigger one. We'll, only time will tell. Like I say, we've only got till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We've got to get out of here and get back to the doctors. Sitting here trying to get ahead of the game. So a couple of rigs, a couple of solid bag rigs ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly hopeful. It's, it's, well, they said it was going to be more mild than what it actually is. I think. I mean, it's, it's definitely cooler than what they said it was meant to be I think it's meant to be eight degrees tonight it's definitely colder than that and the stars are out um, but yeah It feels good, it feels good for a bite, I must say. It really does. Not safe from uh, what I've got from the uh, guys over the weekend is uh, bites which are in the dark, so you can only but try. Yeah, I think that'll do me. A couple more, couple more weeks ready. Happy days. That will do nicely. Sit here now, have a cup of tea, and hopefully get a sign. Get a sign that there's a few out there. Just await developments. Well guys, as you can see, left hand rod is just gone, it's just getting light. Yeah, sickna. Yeah, it's the last one. Um, picked the rod up, it started kiting left and uh, it was on there seconds. 
Yeah, and you're bald. Funny old bite. Just like the bobbin sort of tapping the buzzer. Wasn't going anywhere, wasn't taking any line, just, uh, yeah, just knew it was hooked and uh, trying to shake you up. And it done it. Gutted. All night, that's back rod's been out there since since I got here early, early yesterday afternoon. That rod's been out there. I well, don't often suffer at pools, but it makes you feel sick when you do. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh well, let's have a cup of tea. Well guys, it's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning and it's nearly time for me to reel in. I've got to reel in by quarter past, got a bit of doctors for 20 past 9. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I've decided that we're going to, this is going to be like, um, this vlog's going to be, um, over a couple of over a couple of nights, maybe three, depending on how much time I get this week. Um, yeah, it's going to depend on how much time I get this week. But we're going to try and stay away from the fish we see show on the hope that we can get a good one. I mean, I've lost one this morning. I'm not very happy about that, but that's that's life. Um, so that's one nil to the carp at the moment. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fish are still well over there. Um, Mick's just turned up, he's gone over there. There's a lot of fish over there all together, a big group over there, but yeah, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced the bigger ones are with them. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and steer, stay away from them this week. Depending on how busy it is, you know. Um, if it, the busier it is, the, you know, the less chance I've got of getting near them fish anyway, to be fair, so uh, yeah. But that's the plan, is to try and stay away from the pack fish and Try and find a big one. So we might you might be watching a vlog of uh, serious blanking, but let's hope not. Let's hope we get, you know, if we can get one special one at the end of the day, thirty pounder, that'd be good. Because uh, this year so far, well, I've not like that done that much time here this year. Um, you know, I've had twenty eight fish, twenty nine fish, I think, and and biggest twenty eight. So yeah, I have decided to try and stay away from them on the hope to try and get. Vegan. So let's hope it works. I'll see you on the next night. Good evening, all. It is Tuesday, the sixth of February, and we're back. Um, yeah, a bit rushed, a um, bit late starting the video. Really, I've been here a few hours, about, about two and a half hours, but I knew that I was going to be uh, pushing it for time to try and get the rods out before dark. Um, yeah, and I was literally responding just it was still getting dark. So, um, yeah, um, we have managed to stay away from the fish, um, or the, the pack fish anyway, that have been showing, uh, I could have fished opposite to be honest, um, and fished close to them. But, uh, yeah, I just want to try and stay away from them for a bit to try and try and see if I can catch a better one. Um. Yeah, it's hard because I like to just come out and, and get bites generally and, uh, you know, catch the big ones, you know, whilst I'm getting bites. You know, I hope that they sort of push their way in, bully, and bully the small ones out. But, um, yeah, managed to do it. Um, yeah, I was gutted about um, the night I'd done. I think it was not last night, night before. Um, yeah, losing one first light. Flying thought, I don't know why I went down to a two ounce lead to be honest. Um, I do, I thought I'd go down to a two ounce lead, uh, in a solid bag and um, and just you know, fish it on the line rather than drop off style. But uh, yeah, it didn't work, didn't get a good enough look old, and um, yeah, it shed the hook as it was taking line. But shit happens at the end of the day. Um, yeah, but like I say, we're, we're here, I've got. I'm fishing three different spots, one back and two on the entrance of the bay. Um, 13 wraps and 15 wraps. Uh, one on a solid bag. One's got six bombs over the top. They're all on slip Ds in varied lengths. Um, three inch on the old, on the uh, drop off um, inline sol uh, lead solid bag rig. Um, yeah, and the other two are seven inches. Um, 
yeah, and they both got bait over the top, very, very windy. But I managed to get six bombs over the middle rod and uh, eight slash nine bombs there or thereabouts over the right hand rod. And the right hand rod is fishing at 19. Um, yeah. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, it feels good. I'm going to be unbelievably mild tonight. It's going to be 10 degrees all night. It's been 13 today in the day. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to do uh, two nights. My mate uh, Cheddar, as you've all seen by now, he's uh, he said he would do me a favour and come down so I can go away tomorrow and have my neck redressed again. Um, yeah, I've still got the still got the patch on the back of my neck at the moment. Yeah, it's healing, but very slowly. Uh, looks like we're going to go into the sixth week of not working. Uh, not ideal when you're self-employed, but. Yeah, it swallows your money up, that's for sure. The money you save for your oldies and all that. It's Oh, well. Yeah, you know, it's life at the end of the day. Um, but, yeah, fingers crossed for the night. Uh, it's like I say, it's going to be mild. Um, yeah, and it's looking good out there. Looking good out there. Fingers crossed, guys. If anything happens in the night, you will, you will be the first to know, that's for sure. Well, guys, what a result that is. Um, yeah, that's definitely a 30. Nice slow bite, and uh, yeah, what a result. Well, guys, what a touch. Yep, yeah, been waiting a while for a uh, big mirror, and uh, yeah, we finally got one. 3210 of absolute cracker. Nice young fish, yeah, 3210. Lovely, typical big fish bite. Um, couple of bleeps, rod tip started bending down towards the back lead, and uh, the clutch slowly started ticking. And yeah, as soon as I picked the rod up, I knew I knew it was a better one. It's carried on taking line, kiting right, and uh, yeah, put up a hell of a battle, kiting left and right. Um, staying deep yeah I knew but you always expect it to be a common in here because all the you know most of the big ones it's very very rare to get a 30 pound mirror um, most of the big ones are commons but yeah have a look at that one look at that all them little piece scales through the middle nice lateral line that is a lovely fish without a doubt yeah hopefully there's more in store for us during this session Nice way to start. Nice eight o'clock in the morning bite. Nice, lovely way to start the day. But yeah. Hopefully, there's one of them uh, big bars of gold out there for us. That'd be nice. There's certainly a few of them swimming about out there. But still, now we've got our first thirty-pound mirror. I'd like another one. It's definitely a young, definitely a young fish though. Um, there's several older mirrors out there, that's for sure. But yeah, a right, right result. But yeah, I should get the rod back out in a minute. Put some more bait over the top. It's looking good for another one, to be fair. We'll have a look at this side quick. It's equally as nice. Absolutely mint. Yep, perfect. I haven't been caught a lot, that's for sure. What an absolute stunner that is. Scale on its shoulder. Yeah, that's going to be a proper big one in the future. No doubt about that. Yeah, that is a right, right result. Right. Fingers crossed. There's more in it. Yeah. Cool, I've been waiting a while for a fish like this from here. Mirror, anyway. There are quite a few big commons. But the bigger commons, you know, up to just over 40, 40 pound eight, I think, by a bench and that. But yeah, look at that one. Right, guys, we're going to get her back. Happy days. Well, guys, a bit of a frustrating morning. Um, 
not on the fishing front, fishing's been good with that 3210 mirror, biggest mirror, but sadly, um, it looks like the damp's got in my microphone and uh, the microphone's packed up. Uh, so yeah, you, I'll have to try and do a voiceover. You probably would have seen that clip. Hopefully I can do a voiceover. Um, but yeah, it's all crackly and buzzing and uh, I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but yeah, I spend a blimmin' fortune on microphones at the moment. Um, so I'm just relying that you can hear me. Um, yeah, with a new phone, hopefully you can you, you can hear me better with <clears throat> the speaker and that's better on here, so double cameras and all that sort of thing. So hopefully you can hear me a lot better than usual. But yeah, good morning. Um, seen a few this morning. Nowhere near my area, but obviously we've had that decent one. But I've seen a couple of good ones in another swim, but um, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stay put. Um, yeah, it's looking, it's looking good. And like I say, we've got till tomorrow, this sort of time tomorrow morning. Before I have to shoot back to the uh, doctors, so yeah, fingers crossed for another one. Got to shoot off again soon. Go to the doctors. Cheddar's going to turn up, keeping on my gear while I'm gone. So yeah, put some bait out for a go, and hopefully this afternoon or tonight we're getting up on it. Right, guys, we are back. Yeah, we're back and we've got the rods back out. All on, they're all on seven inch slip D's, all at 19 wraps now, where I had that fish this morning. Um, let me see if I can show you here. Um, that tree there in the, in the background, off, off my fingertip, that's where I've got two. And over there, at that gap there on the end of them tall trees, that is where I've got one rod on its own at 19. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just sort of borderline my wall with the right hand rod. Um, just wanted to spread them out along that line, uh, which is just on that breeze line, to be fair. 19 is just inside that breeze line. Um, the fish is, the shoal fish are still right over, right, right over there. You know, don't get me wrong. There is there is bigger ones in amongst them them groups of fish, but um, I'm convinced that the big common and uh, the other ones hang back. So yeah, it certainly worked. The the thought certainly worked this morning having that mirror. So um, yeah, well, we will continue. Um, it is hard though. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm, I, I like to come and get bites at the end of the day and uh, holding back off the fish, especially when you see a couple of thirties in amongst them. You're like. Mm, should I be with them? But at the end of the day, the, the, the main goal isn't them ones. I'm just trying to fish away from them. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. It's looking good. It is looking good. The wind has died for a change. It's going the opposite direction. It's blowing a northerly. All the fish are showing over there in that flat water over the other side there. Yeah, they're, they're showing there um, all the way along the side of that island. They're showing from that corner right over to that corner, all in that flat water. Um, yeah, haven't seen a fish anywhere else. But like I say, we've got a bite this morning from that mirror just short of 33 pounds. So yeah, we will continue that way. Sit here and tie a few more slip D's up in a minute and await developments. Fingers crossed for another one. Well guys, the day's running away with us. Always seems to, to be fair, when you have to leave the lake for a while. But um, yeah, I feel very, very confident coming into this evening. Um, although there's been nothing shown my water, there wasn't there wasn't this morning either, but um, a lot, certainly very, very active over Body Island. Um, yeah, nice old boy Mick, he's gone home now. Um, yeah, so I've got the lake to myself which was a surprise um yeah no one's turned up as yet so yeah I'm happy with the rods they went out sweet bait over the top not so another one to shown right long but um yeah not say we've got we've got to be wrapped up and back up the van by no later than quarter past nine in the morning because of my appointment 
So, yeah, fingers crossed. I the fight I had with that quarter to eight this morning. So, yeah, fingers crossed for another, for another one between now and then tomorrow. Um, yeah, feels good. Feels really good. Although it's cooled off, it's gone flat. You can see everything that moves now. Um, there's hardly any wind at all, so. Yeah. Yeah, confidence is high, that's for sure. Especially if I'm very happy the way the rods went out this week. First time, all three of them. Two on one spot, one on the other. Yeah, bait went over them lovely as well. So, yeah, just waiting now. About to have a cup of tea, think about having something to eat. Yeah, and keep watching. Keep watching the water, see what's occurring. Like I say, it's been probably been, I would think, what well, I've seen, there must have been 20, 25 shows, I suppose, today. Um, obviously, a long way away from me, but um, over Bonny Island, but yeah, there's been a lot of fish showing out there. But very, very little anywhere else. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything to my left in the bay. Generally, see the odd one showing there, but I haven't been showing there. And they haven't showed. They haven't showed down the other end. Been pacing up and down, walking up and down. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing else to go on. So yeah, I'm quite happy. Quite happy. Meanwhile, guys, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and await developments. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, guys, it doesn't look that bad on here, but it's uh, about to get dark. Yeah, it's just gone five o'clock, and yeah, it's dropping in dark now. Um, nothing's changed from earlier. The rods stayed out there. They're out there for the night. Um, yeah, quite happy at the moment just to uh, try and stay away from the from the shoulder fish, trying to find the better ones. Um, it's, it's so hard to believe me when you watch them on the other side other side of the lake nut out nut out and there's no one here and you've got a chance you, you can move on and it's it's tough but yeah i'm quite happy with the way it's going um you know i've had two bite two bites now in uh two nights staying away from the uh from the shoal of uh fish and uh yeah from the main group yeah and you know a 30 plus mirror which is very very rare in here so it, you know that on its own is worth doing so yeah yeah but yeah just awaiting developments now fingers crossed for another one during the night if not first thing tomorrow because i've got to be away sharpish as usual guys i will update you during the night if we have one failing that i'll speak to you in the morning Well, there we go, guys. Nice and early, 20 to 7. It's getting quite cold, to be fair, but, uh, yeah. Upper 20, I reckon. Yeah, upper 20. Yeah, happy days. And she's a right scaly, scaly character as well. I do like a scaly one. But, yeah, we'll get her out and see how big she is. But uh, definitely around an upper 20. Well, guys, it wasn't as big as I thought. I thought mid to upper 20, but it's not. It's uh, 21 and a half. But an absolute character. Real scaly banger. Yeah, nice short fat one. Yeah. Don't want to be out this one, that's for sure, guys. She really don't like it. But, got to get her up to show you, because she's lovely. Probably her shape don't help. I'm 
Ya. Never known a carp so misbehaves as this one. Come on, up you come. Come on, up you come. Look at that, guys. Look at that for a scaly cracker. Yeah, 21 and a half. Yeah, made up with that one. That is a cracking carp. Big scale on the shoulder, loads of scales through the middle. Yeah. Yeah, real lovely one. <laughs> one last time. Let's get up one last time. Come on. Let's turn try her on the other side. The other side's lovely as well. <sighs> Big apple slices this side. That's for sure. But yeah. And obviously I ain't used to being picked up. There you go, guys. Absolute cracker. Look at that. That is scaly as scaly can be, that one. Yeah. Yeah, after that fully scaled the other week to this one. Very nice, right? I'm going to get her back. Happy days indeed, guys. Morning, all. Very miserable morning. Always the way when you're packing up, packing up and getting soaked. Yeah, got to start packing up in the next half hour, 45 minutes. Got to be out of here. Sharpish today. Quiet, other than that. Um, Quite other than that one early on last night. Yeah. But yeah, we're about 20 minutes away from uh, when I had that bite from that 30 plus mirror yesterday. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed instead of biting it. Don't mind getting soaked for a fish. <laughs> but yeah, fingers crossed. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm back back home. Yeah, I had to make a mad dash for it this morning to get to the doctors. And, um, yeah, it was just too wet, too wet and miserable to uh, film the end of the session. But I hope you like the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. Um, by all means, follow me, Adam Honeyset on Facebook, Adam Carp Honeyset on Instagram. And one thing's for sure, guys, we'll see you out on the bank somewhere soon. Thanks for watching. All the best.